Well, commercial vehicle sales are back to pre-COVID levels, which augurs well for CV finances too. The total CV sales for two consecutive quarters have been way above the pre-COVID levels. So commercial vehicle is a segment which is seen as closely tied to the economic growth as well. The year-to-date growth in FI23 so far has been about 75.6% for the total CV sales, about 108.2% for MNS CV, that is medium and heavy commercial vehicles, and and about 62.9% in light commercial vehicles. So CV sales are picking up with May being the best month so far in the year. So growth has remained healthy in August 2022 as well. Let's focus on the positive impact that NBFCs are seeing from the pickup in this CV cycle, net interest margin. Now, all the CV finances have seen an uptick in the net interest margin over the last one year. Now, this is due to the fact that, you know, there is pickup in the growth, decline in stress portfolio and the shift of borrowings to banks, which has helped in reducing cost of funds to an extent. So, m and Finance has seen the highest expansion in its net interest margin over the last one year. As highlighted earlier, you know, net interest margin has seen improvement due to decline in the stress portfolio of CV finances. The gross NPA ratio of CV finances has improved significantly over the last one year. Big improvement has been seen for the likes of m M&M and Finance and Sundram Finance. Talking about another stress portfolio, which is the restructured book of CV finances, that has witnessed decline too. X of m M&M Finance. Now, Shiran Transport has had one of the lowest uh, you know restructured book amongst all the CV financers while m M&M and Finance has the highest uh, restructured book in Q1 FI23 so amongst all the CV financers good sign is that there is pickup in the CV sector which is also witnessed through disbursers that CV financers are seeing and that is helping in translating into AM growth as well so there is not uh, much of top up loans which is seen unlike Q1 FI22 Q1 FI23 has seen healthy quarter-on-quarter -quarter AUM growth, ranging anywhere between 2.85% to as high as 4.6% across CV finances. So disbursals in Q1 FI23 is also one of the best in many years. The stabilization of asset quality and pickup in growth can also spell healthy return ratios, that is ROEs going forward. We have seen ROEs of CV finances remain healthy in Q1 FI23. So Q2 FI23 may be seasonal in nature, but you can expect CV financers to report consistency in terms of healthy ROEs in the coming quarters. So in terms of outlook, you know, CV cycle has picked up really well, which augurs well for CV financers. With rising interest rate, net interest margin is set to expand for majority of them going ahead. The worst of asset quality and, uh, you know, credit cost issues are behind for CV financers. So valuations and re-rating that you have seen for CV financers over the last two years are here to stay.